acquittal happening at some point? Well, very confident. Thanks for having me, Sean. First of all, it's not legitimate. It's not a legitimate impeachment trial. It's not legitimate to try to uh, prosecute a, a private citizen. President Trump is not holding, quote, the official office. So I don't know where this is coming from. Maybe they'll try to get it done on Jupiter or Mars. I'm not sure. But listen, you know, Sean, this is another example of a travesty of our great republic, how you can just take, if you just don't like someone, like, let's just take the first fake impeachment that they did. The, the main reason why they put that fake impeachment, they really just don't like President Trump. I mean, they just don't like him, you know, and, and that's, that's a travesty for our great republic, because let me tell you something, Democrats, if there are some watching this show, this is going to, this could be you someday. You can't have this in our great country to where you just want to impeach someone because you don't like them. And that's really what it gets down to. But Bruce, let me so jump in really quick. Because you, you know they're going to he, he, you know push well, you know they're going to push back and they're going to say that the, the charge is incitement of insurrection. Do you believe that the, the president is guilty of that? And, and how do you fight back against that? No, no, absolutely not. And I mean come on, Sean, you can, everyone can just listen to the entirety of the entire speech. The, those folks, whoever they were, and by the way, let, let me, for the record, I, I've traveled many times with this president. I've been to many, many rallies. I want to say we've estimated over 20 million, you know, folks that we've been in arenas. Did you hear any type of riots or incitement, anything with 20 plus million? This is how many folks that this president has got in front of in all these arenas and all these, you know, rallies across this great nation. Uh, the only time this heat, heat, heat exhaustion from being standing out there or someone got sick with their uh, insulin, but never something like this. So we're used to gathering like this. So to put this on the back of the Trump people saying they stormed the wall in the Capitol is a lie. The second part of this is that there's nothing in the speech that indicates him saying, y'all get out there and scale the wall and rush through there and run through the galleys and run down there to the Congress where they meet. You know, there's nothing in there that says that. And that in itself proves what happened. The problem is there's not great <clears throat> there's not many great networks like Newsmax that's literally trying to put the truth out there. And the other mainstream medias are busy creating this narrative. Fake CNN, fake MSNBC. You turn on there, it's so crazy. They're talking about, yeah, the president told them to go up there and grab their clubs and run. And they're literally brainwashing the American people into this lie, fabricating this lie, Sean. This is what we're dealing with. And you see the censorship on Twitter and all the mainstream. They're literally trying to sell this lie again, the same lie they tried to sell on the president when all of a sudden he puts his name on the ballot and says, oh, he's a racist. But for 45 years from being on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, from being on Home Alone, all these movies, all these places he's been, Sean, not one person has come forward and said that this president is you know, racist until he puts his name. So they're trying to do the same thing, playbook, creating this narrative saying, you know, you keep saying it so many times. Well, it has to be true. So I'm very confident that the president will be fine. We're all confident, the 75 million of us, we're going to get through another fake impeachment hoax again. But once again, Sean, you know, the Democrats need to be careful because this could be them if we don't get a handle on this and not using this impeachment just as a weapon because we don't like someone. Well, he, they will need, um, to your point, they will need uh, 17 Republicans to flip, um, which has already been called unlikely, very unlikely. Uh, dismissal, right. though, today would need a simple majority. That is all but certain. Uh, the other question a lot of folks have is what's next for former President Trump? In fact, the Politico <laughs> headline um, kind of answered that. Uh, it reads, Trump plans a reemergence in some red retribution after impeachment. Uh, there's the headline there. What is your thought on that? Because, first of all, reemergence, we haven't heard much from President Trump, and obviously he's limited. He can't even access his Twitter and uh, his social media platforms. But also, retribution after impeachment. What do you think that means? And is Politico on target with that? Well, Politico, okay. All right. Well, okay, Sean. <laughs> but listen, President Trump represents the largest living, breathing American movement probably in the history of the United States. The America First agenda is 75 million, million plus of us in this great nation. We haven't stopped. He's, he's the vehicle. He's the vessel of this, Sean. So, no, it's not gone anywhere. Yeah, we've had some bumps and some, some hiccups here in terms of what's going on and how they're trying to keep this man down. But let me tell you something. This is a developer. This man has built 
all types of things in his life. He's had some ups, he's had some downs. And people saying, why don't you just give it up? Because one thing about President Donald John Trump, listen very carefully, he knows when he has a loss, he knows when he has a gain. And he felt in his heart, and we, amongst millions of us, felt like there was this wasn't fairly done November 4th. So that's where this fight is coming from. But the great light of this, the great light of this article and everything that, that's going on here, watch this. And, and I hate it has to be this way, but sometimes you go through these times in, in your life where you have to hit the control, alt, delete, and to, as I say, well, the real supporters, the people who want to take care of the nation and their families and their businesses, please come forward. Where the people who were in it to pay to play and to gain personally and to do destruction will be mur purged out. This is what I'm seeing the great light of what who's really in this for the America First movement? Who's in it for personal gain? This, and it's unfortunate, I really didn't want to go through this like this. I really did, because I really want him to be back in that Oval Office again. But I see the light. I see the, the hope and the spirit of the American people. We're going to rise up even stronger and better for the America First. America First is all Americans. It's not white. It's not black. It's not tall. It's not small. It's for the America people that want to bring back the country and put us first. And this is who he represents. This is what's going to resonate. What about and this former is what's going to Trump. resurrect what about out former, of the next uh, several years. What about former President Trump? Does he still have an influence on the GOP based on what you just said? Oh, absolutely. He's still the leader of the GOP, you know, and I know there's a lot of folks out there kind of, you know, swirling around, <laughs> circling the wagons, as you might call it. But let me tell you something, Sean, until until President Trump says, hey, uh, I'm doing this or I'm going to do this or whatever, until he anoints whoever or who, then that he is still the leader of the Republican Party. People just got to get over it. You know, uh, that's the reality right. of this. So, and, I, and that's why you see a lot of folks being cautious, uh, other folks that want to maybe possibly run in 2024, run for this office. They need to be cautious because they know he still has over 51 percent of, yeah. of approval of people who still look at him as the leader of the Republican Party. I'm out of time. So, hey. I'm out of time, Bruce. Uh, we can talk for days. It's always good. fun. Always. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Bruce Lavelle joining yeah, us. Thanks live. for having me. Thanks, Newsmax. Still to come, many Democrats.